My name is Adam Burke. I work in Boston. Um, I'm currently working for sculptor Janet Eckelman, but also in the past I've been working at MIT um, in a group that was affiliated with uh, the Center for Advanced Visual Studies there. Um, and so now I've been working some with this group in, in Dusseldorf uh, related to groups here at work. I studied architecture uh, at Virginia Tech um, a few years ago for my like final sort of capstone thesis project. Um, I did a lot of research on kind of thinking about virtual environments. And so a lot of that was sort of thinking about dealing with the space inside of a reflection, I guess you would call it, um, which is like a perceptually real space, but is is like not, not materially real. A few years ago, when I was at Virginia Tech, I worked on a project that was led by Professor um, Paula Zellner Bassett um, called Dense Space Il Mobile, which was this sort of like large fiberglass spheres that were kind of like this open weave. And then um, we projected like stereoscope or like red and blue light through it basically with a slight offset. Um, so when you wore uh, those like red and blue 3D glasses, the shadows basically would reconstruct um, a depth perception uh, illusion so that you would see uh, sort of like floating shadow spheres that were intersecting with the the real spheres themselves. That, that was kind of how we were uh, physically doing that, but um, the, it was sort of related to this hyper real space and the and the virtual spaces where the shadows aren't aren't material materially real, but they're they're perceptually um, very salient, um, and and they and they can play with very strange in very strange ways with um, with like other other real materials in the space and kind of blur the blur the edges of those two. Um, two configurations. I was kind of brought into this project by, by Seth and Sarah um, and because I had done, I had, had worked with them a lot at MIT on sort of realizing a lot of the pieces for the, the of the student work in the MIT gallery. So that was all related to their, the course vision in art and neuroscience, which I've kind of collaborated um, with them on over the, the past few years um, in the role of kind of helping to realize as a, as a studio technician, all of the student, student works. I've continued to kind of keep up a, like, a more high level conversation about sort of perception um, and world, world construction in a, sort of in the framework of of vision neuroscience and and also just like general art production and um, seeing these things overlap and also helping other people bring them uh, bring bring these sort of materializations of of their of their ideas into the world it has always been very fun for me yeah. it's kind of interesting the the connection with the zero foundation so at virginia tech there's a huge um Bauhaus influence. It was sort of, it was founded initially, the architecture school there was founded initially by some of the people who had left the Bauhaus. Um, and and it's it's pretty close to Black Mountain College uh, down down south. And so there was a lot of overlap and intersection with, with uh, some other artists who were there at the time. Um, and so all of these kind of ways of thinking about material and, and material affordances, I guess, for lack of a better term, have kind of been seeded throughout my educational career. And so then, yeah, I mean, I, I've certainly learned quite a lot more about the, uh, the zero artists over, over the last few years, just being at MIT and also kind of getting involved in this project and doing, doing a bit more research. Um, I've also been working on wrapping a bunch of Otto Pina's paintings um, <laughs> over the last few months. Um, and it's been nice. I've been able to kind of be in the barn um, near where he was doing a lot of fire paintings at a studio in the US um, out in Groton. Um, and so to be kind of immersed in that work as well uh, has, has been a really interesting uh, nice experience. I, I think 
I've probably seen a bunch of paintings that people haven't seen in many years, which is nice. <laughs> but yeah, there, there's like a, a wonderful kind of energy to, to all of them. It's been nice to kind of be able to sit out there and, and just work very methodically on kind of preserving them over the last couple of months. I, I'm hoping there's a bit more that we can um, share from from MIT. I you know we, it's been very difficult for us to kind of get together and and sort of work on things with some sort of concerted energy uh, through the winter. Um, but yeah, I, I'm looking forward to hopefully the spring will bring some more energy to to everything, um, <laughs> and uh, we'll be able to to intersect a little bit more.